very warm welcome to you all. Our guest tonight is Mayuri Tufani, also known as Melissa. She is 26 years old and an artist. Tonight, during this episode, we are going to learn more about Mayuri and her passion for art. Mayuri, thank you so much for joining us in the studio of the NBC. Thanks to you to welcome me here. Thank you. Mayuri, art is an expression of our thoughts emotion, intuition, it is the communication of intimate concept that cannot be faithfully portrayed through words. What does art represent to you? Um, actually, art is much more than just a subject to me. It's a fundamental part of the human expression. As uh, you might know, the famous quote, uh, before a child talk, they sing before they write, they draw, and before they, they walk, they stand up, they start to dance as soon as they stand up. Mm -hmm. How actually did you develop uh, the interest in art? Um, I believe that it was always within me. So since childhood, and uh, I have continued to follow that passion during my adulthood, my uh, teenagers, and child adulthood as well. Okay. What are, the, what are the different trainings that you've done concerning art then? I have done BA Fine Arts at the University of Mauritius at MGI, in collaboration with the MGI. And there I have uh, been spe specialized in printmaking and uh, I have learned about drawing, painting, sculpture, uh, printmaking is my specialization, and even graphic design and photography. Mm -hmm. Marie, was there actually a pivotal moment when you decided to follow the path of an artist? Yes, definitely there was. As I said before, it was always within me. But uh, I would say that the pivotal moment was uh, after my HSC, when I had to choose uh, which path to take. Actually, I love psychology, sociology, human studies, like uh, human, human beings intrigues me and it triggers me. It triggers me and uh, I was, uh, I had to choose between art and sociology but um, deep down me I knew that it was art so that was the moment that I had chosen that path. Do you feel that nowadays youngsters are more interested in art? How do you see the evolution throughout the years? Yes I do, I definitely do uh, because um, I, I am an art educator in uh, Mauritius College Boys and um, I, I believe that uh, most youngsters are, are very interested in, in art. Art, I mean all style of art. Art in, in its broadest sense, that is uh, music, literature, even theater. Not only just painting and drawing, but art in general. And I do believe that uh, most youngsters are very interested. Nowadays, the trend is um, manga. Yes, that's another form of art. Okay. So, Yuri, what are the different styles of art that you practice? And which one is your favorite? Uh, as I said, uh, uh, je suis polyvalente, artiste polyvalente. Uh, that is, I do drawing, painting, sculptures, and uh, printmaking is my specialization. But uh, most recently, I have uh, been experimenting on natural leaves, painting on natural leaves. And I do a process. That techniques come from India. I, I do some process to, to eliminate uh, the, some substance of the leaves, and only the veins remain. The end process, only the veins remain and I draw on it. What yes. motivated you to try that, that experiment actually? 
actually what amazed me about art it is um, the experimental side because uh, with any kind of medium we can do an artwork we can recycle that's why I have been experimenting in much medium for example wood uh, I have re reused many um, materials but uh, I also love to work with um, natural natural one. yes but it's more difficult because the texture is different from the paper so um, not really because it's an experimental stage we can always try new stuff like a new kind of painting new kind of leaves new kind of, um, of different materials and the one that you are doing on the leaf, what is it exactly? It's a painting, acrylic paint on, on that leaves. And I usually inspire myself with nature. My inspiration is nature. Okay, yes. Now, uh, Yuri, you've mentioned that uh, you are versatile. Yes. But uh, do you feel that it's important to have a speciality as well in art? Yes, I do. Um, because uh, each artist has its own um, uniqueness. Exactly. That's why I believe that, uh, and as as human being, we are all different. So, uh, um, as art is subjective, every artist will feel comfort in certain uh, type of art, and others not. That's why. I believe that uh, specialization is important as well. And in which one are you more specialized? I have been specialized in printmaking, in printmaking technique, where there are several experimentation that has been done. And uh, it's kind of, gi it, it gives me motivation to try even more type of print. Mm -hmm. Explain to us the process to create that type of artwork. The leaves, on yes. the leaves. Um, so the process to create that uh, artwork, firstly you have to have a uh, source of inspiration, your source of inspiration. For example, for me it's nature. And then the material itself, it demands some kind of process because I I kind of collect the leaves which I can get on the road and I particularly use the people, people leaves okay. which we mostly found in um, Hindu's temple around mm -hmm. our island and uh, I, I put it in wa into water for 40 days so that uh, it can lose the green substance on that leaf and then it, I remain with the veins only. Then I just take my source of inspiration and draw on it. Yes. Now you read the definition of art has constantly been evolving. Everyone has its own definition. But how important do you consider imagination or creativity is in improving an artist's skills? Um, I believe that imagination and creativity is key in the artistic field and uh, I believe that uh, one can nourish it with good thoughts, reading book, inspiring themselves from, from the social media, from, from the net, to, to kind of nourish that uh, creativity. Hence, it, uh, it came more easily afterwards. Mm -hmm. yes. Share with us your creative process to do not work. So my creative process, uh, like I said, it's uh, my source of inspiration first. And then uh, it might be something that has had an impact on me on the daily lives or in other people's lives which mm -hmm. I come across and that, that I touch me from inside, then I, I kind of express myself by doing an artwork. 
so it might be a source of inspiration or it kind it might be also a healing process okay. that's how i draw paint yes do you actually have any hobbies that help you to derive your creative self yes actually my hobbies is is a constant sharing between my artist friends and uh, engaging with new artists okay yes the, and um, with every type of artwork of artist i keep myself engaged with them and i would like to mention a uh, team call by christopher colin uh, he is someone that have uh, re reunited many kind of Mauritian artists whereby we have a beautiful artist family where we can share our experiences and hence that uh, helped me on my creativity. That sharing, it's, it's art itself. Yes, of course. Those people and that sharing, it's art itself. It's important to build a community of artists, right? To empower each other. Yes, indeed it's much important nowadays to encourage each other to encourage them in their to follow their passion and by by doing so we we are encouraging future generation as well and even we are encouraging people who used to draw years back okay. and uh, we encourage them to come forward with their work it's, it's not like a competition, but uh, mostly something that we share a humanly experience, I would say. Mayuri, uh, the many artist draws inspiration from reality and try to recreate that in their art. But do you believe that art has the ability to affect culture and society? Yes, definitely, because uh, through an artwork, one might see many many things on a personal level for example if it if we have an artwork in front of us the way that you will view it and the way that i will view it will not be the same that might touch you in in some in some field of of your life may I, if may i say that you can that can trigger you and bring some kind of awareness I believe that it's something personal about the one who is who will be looking at the artwork. How art has impacted on your life then? Um, I will say art has always been part of me and the impact is um, quite optimistic because it, it forms part of my everyday life the impact is something beautiful because like i said before it's kind of my passion and i do heal myself through art as well uh, so yes mm -hmm. yeah. no art is very subjective everyone has its own perception towards an artwork but you are an art teacher so according to you what are the different aspects in an artwork which makes it visually more fascinating to a person um, actually it's the elements of art and the principle of design which which uh, it's in our syllabus it must be thought from grade nine uh, from grade uh, seven sorry and uh, i believe once again that it's something personal because the color combination, even the lines, the shape, the, the balance of the artwork in, ger in general will depend on the taste of the person. Like the, you said before, it's kind of subjective. Yes. yes. And have you actually ever participated in a competition or even have your work exposed for an exhibition? Yes. Share with us how was the experience. Actually, I had participated in many student expo at the MGI, and uh, afterwards, I 
Thank you, Marlene Udia. I have participated at La Case Flamboyant with my leaves. He was quite amazed. He was quite amazed with my leaves, and um, I have participated this year itself at La Case Flamboyant along with two amazing artists as well, and um, I have participated participated in Salon de Mai recently, organized by the MGI, and at uh, Orcad Kerimji. It's ongoing. Okay. You can go and check. It's ongoing at Orcad Kerimji. It's a collective art expo. Mm -hmm. And uh, what important issues are actually fueling your work these days? Um, what's fueling my works these days are the passion to encourage others because um, through group calm the team calm i have uh, seen many artists and that's what is fueling me these days i don't even have much time to draw because um, i'm in the organization process but it it kind of boosts me to keep encouraging others to follow their passion Every artist actually has a handful of other artists they look to for inspiration and guidance. Is there any artist who actually has inspired you to create a certain type of work? Yes, my greatest inspiration, I would say, is my art teacher. She is an artist as well, uh, Mademoiselle Kerenza. And um, there are many well-known artists which I, I do, which inspires me. Uh, there, there is Paweł Kuzinski, which uh, his artwork is quite uh, satire. That demonstrates the reality, the harsh reality, I should yes. say, of, of um, nowadays. And um, I do like uh, Salvador Dali for the um, for his artwork, which is surrealist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, Yuri, you've been practicing art for so many years, and the life of an artist is constantly about uh, changing, improvising, and learning. So, how has your style changed over the years? Um, I would say it's a great evolution because I have, uh, during my academic years at uh, MGI, I have learned so much about techniques and I have done my own experimentation and I think that uh, it's a lifelong learning process. It will keep going. You also uh, practice photography, right? How did you actually develop that interest for photography? Actually, that interest was uh, during my BA Fine Arts. We had a module about photography, and that's how it all started. But I must say that uh, it was already there before the photography class as well. Yes. Like we've talked earlier, artist has the ability to raise awareness about various issues and influence the opinion of people. So is it a key characteristic for an artist to project uh, the image of responsibility? Yes, most definitely yes, because um, I believe that artworks is something that um, can convey messages that might be um, not so comfortable for the public and throughout we can do it without oh, com without um, disturbing others others feelings yes uh, and to achieve uh, the status of an artist is actually not so easy it requires a lot of hard work so what are the challenges you believe that an artist face in its life? Art has not been given the, the due value that it deserves. Even nowadays, in 2022, I believe that art has not been given that much value, the deserved value. And uh, that's the most challenging part of it, I guess.
as art is subjective, there are many other challenges like um, some, sometimes you, you, you don't want the world to see your artworks. You, you kind of need some audacity to move forward, to show what you do and to, yes, to, to move forward yes. towards so, Tell us uh, an example of a specific artwork that you created which is very close to you. A specific artwork that I have created that is very close to me is um, is an artwork of uh, a mother and a child which I have connected them. It's because um, my mother is the greatest part of my life and that's why um, that painting means a lot to me and is quite close to my heart. Yes. We are actually drawing towards the end of this episode but uh, before that Mary, are you actually working on a particular project now? Yes, it's ongoing and uh, actually we, together with uh, Team Calm we are working on an artistic pro project at Casella. Yes. Any advice then that you would like to share with the youngsters to encourage them to follow their passion like you are doing? Yes, I would say believe in yourself, in your dreams and continue to follow the, your passion with the sparkle in your eyes. Yes. Thank you so much, Mayuri. It was such a delight to have you on the set tonight and talk about art. Thank you. Thanks to you. <laughs> Dear viewers, we have now come to the end of this episode. Thank you for your time. We hope to catch you next week at the same time, same channel. Have a great evening.